Welcome to a new video from my social web. I'm Luis Fernandez, and today we continue the series of videos on artificial intelligence applied to SEO. In this case, we are going to work with a script generated by Arnel Vendrell in which we are going to be able to classify a list of products in a list of categories that we decide. This has been done fully automatically and is very useful when we are changing the categories of our e-commerce or uploading new products to our e-commerce that do not have categories assigned beforehand. For this, we are going to need Python using a collab that we are going to pass to you at the description of this video. You will have access to it. You will simply have to make a copy of it by clicking on File, Save Copy on your drive, and then you will need two CSVs. The first one is your list of products. It has to be called Produce CSV and be headed by a first row, a header called Product. If not, you will have to modify it in the CSV or inside the code and here you will simply have an export of all your products. And the last CSV you are going to need is the categories 1, the same style as the previous categories CSV as name, a first row, a heading called category, and the list of categories you will need. To make this classification we will use OpenEye's DaVinci model. Each query, each product basically uses about 100 tokens or so. Here's the current price of the tokens if you want. This is subject to change. It will be updated. Maybe when you're watching this video, we don't even use GPT-3. But here you have the price per thousand tokens and open eye pricing. In case you want to check what it would cost you. And to execute it, we can go step by step executing the cells in our collab. You will open the collab. You will make the copy. Here I have already executed the installation cells so as not to lose time in execution. But basically you click in the upper left corner on the play button or the quick access command control and T and the cell would be executed. If everything is correct, we'll mark with a green tick in the upper left corner that it has been executed. If there is a problem, an error message will be displayed with the relevant error message. And there you will have to follow the steps to correct it. You can Google it, or you can even ask the GPT chat to see what is wrong. You have everything explained with comments briefly, what each cell does, and you can follow them here. They are the comments in green. It is the text that is in green perceived by a pad. Here we install all our dependencies, mainly highlighting OpenAI to connect to its API and Pandas to manage the contents. It's like a data management tool basically, it's like to be able to use our CSVs inside Python. And then we are going to upload our files. This you execute it. You will see a button that will allow you to upload files. You click and choose your two files, category CSV and product CSV and will be saved you will see that it is saved correctly. In the following cell, we import all our dependencies. And we are going to read our files. Note that here the name is already written beforehand. It is product CSV. That is why we insist that it has to be the same name. If you have used a different name, you can modify the file. Or modify this text line and the same for categories. Next, we are going to specify a little more our type of e-commerce. Here in our case, we are going to classify sneakers. Most of them are sport shoes general shoes I've put that it is going to be a sports e-commerce. We could put shoes if we want to be more generic. You can play and adapt it to your needs. Next we're going to make some modifications in Pandas to adapt the format for the prompts. And finally you will have to enter your OpenEye secret key here. Remember not to share it. This is what allows access to your OpenAI credits. Run the whole column and there should be no problems. Next we have a small code that will allow us not to reach the limit of the OpenAI API. This simply limits every X number of queries to 20 per minute. So this would be the limit depending on your OpenAI account. We have limited it to 20 if you see that it goes too slow. You can modify it by enlarging it here. If you see that it goes too fast and blocks you can reduce it here. Probably you don't have to change anything leaving it as it is. I hope you know how it works. This is a function that we will use later. This code as such does not execute anything. You will not see any output. And then what we are going to do is iterate through each product in our product list. If you want to do a test before to see how it works, and you have a list of thousands of products what you can add, it is commented here. If you want to copy it, is to add this here. Replace products, data frame and all this here, you can modify it with this here. And what this will do is that it will only go from product 1 to product x plus 1. 
That is, if you put a 5 here, it will go from product 1 to product 6. So you would only test it on 6 products. See if you like the output, see if it's working well, and don't spend all the credits on the thousands of products you could have. Then for each product, we are going to do the following problem. Classify the following product of an online store, in our case. We have placed it up here for shipping. The product will be the name of the product. And it will be in a category listing with our categories. Not fully visible here, there it is. In one of the following categories here, we have the list of categories, and I return only the name of the chosen category. This ensures that we get the correct formatting. Here we execute, we call the OpenAI API with our D function to avoid being blocked by excessive API calls. And save our result. Here we make some formatting changes just in case we have missed line breaks, dots or columns and... We save everything in a data frame. If there is some error, it will print the error and it will put it here as general error. And here you have an example of the result. We give display results data frame. It shows us that, for example, the New Balance 327 are sneakers. For example, these vans are high top sneakers, lace up shoes. We are classifying everything in a product format and category. And with this last cell, you simply convert it to CSV format. Show it again in case you want to see it and download it in a document called Classified Products. And this, with a couple of clicks, as you can see, already completes everything. If you have any questions you want to expand, you know that you have our channel, you have our Twitter. There is a series of videos in a playlist within the channel in which we explain more case studies. And that would be all. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video.